Shalom on Israel, giving no praise to Yahweh. Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Chakadash, the one said, I was James, who else I teach to you, I came out there, push his word. A true for sincerity, risking your freedom in your life to do so. Um, you have another video here as a, a re reiteration, okay? Um, pretty much, you may sound like a broken record, but. This is the truth for the matter of what's coming to America and a society near you. So this is from Vice News, okay? And Vice, they, they do a lot of news coverage from little things to big things, okay? And we know, according to prophecy, that this is going to happen in the future throughout the whole world, you know? Especially like how coronavirus hit the whole world. This thing is going to be implemented throughout the whole world, okay? And we're supposed to tell you people about it and not to take it. Because this is the mark of the beast. You see? So, um, let's read. This is, uh, people are getting microchipped in Sweden, and it's pretty normal. The whole process takes only a couple of minutes. One of the best, uh, yeah, it says, uh, Helsingborg, Sweden, Joen Osterlund lays down a styro clothes, puts on gloves, and uses a needle to slide a microchip under Michael Gunholm's skin. Michael Gunhol Gunhol's skin. The whole process takes only a couple of minutes. I'm a cyborg. Gunhol tells Vice News. Okay, it's not easy. They're telling you about the chipping, the whole chipping process. It says the radio frequency, radio frequency identification technology. That the chip uses has been around for decades, okay? Hence the reason why the elders have been talking about it for so long is because it's been around. And we know that they had the unction through the spirit to declare it. He said, but the idea of plant implanting it under the skin seems pretty dystopian. Really, yeah, it is dystopia or dystopia, meaning a um, very strange weird, okay? Against peace and order. It said, it can be used to enter doors, like your office, home, or gym, to log into computers, and even to make contactless payments. Here's the reason why we uh, say that this is going to be the device used that you can't buy or sell without it. And let's get the scripture. Revelation 13, verse 16, 17. And he that calls it all. And who's the he? Esau, Edom. Okay, the heads of society. Not the plain... Average Joe, Eomite, the heads, causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, whether you're rich in the society or you're poor, whether you're locked up or you're free to roam bound within society, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So you're going to receive this mark. And what is this mark? It's clear as day, the RFID chip. And how do we know that's the mark? And that no man might buy or sell literally means buy or sell, meaning to purchase goods or sell any goods. Save, save is an old English word, meaning a less. So they can't buy or sell a less they have that mark. The name of the beast and the number of his name. You see? So it says, and to even make contactless payments. So when we declare that this is the mark of the beast and you can't buy or sell without it in the future, does it sound too strange now? Read on, it says, Usta Lund, a self-proclaimed science fiction nerd and the founder and CEO of Biohacks International, says he has shipped around 6,000 Swedes in, a, in the past six years. He chalks up its success to Sweden's culture of openness. Its geopolitical situation historically gives us the kind of initial higher trust in the government. I think a lot of people would be more, way more apprehensive in a lot of countries. Walk through Sweden's bustling capital, Stockholm, and you'll see what he means. Abandoned cash machines, card-only parking meters, market vendors who only accept mobile payments, or reflect how nearly all aspects of life in Sweden are digitized. It's just coming here soon. As you can see, they, a lot of restaurants are not accepting cash payments. A lot of bank, at that matter, is not, not accepting um, cash withdrawals or cash deposits. I mean, this is all getting you to the mark of the beast, okay? And it says 97% uh, of the transactions are done without bills, 
Yeah, because I mean, even in even in society, you live in, in America, Babylon the Great. Uh try pulling out some money to pay for something. Put on some cash. Especially if it's a purchase above ten dollars. And people will look at you like you weird. Why are you paying with cash? You see? Even even people that, that, that own stores or certain restaurants, they don't they don't have change for certain bills. They just don't keep that money. Because everything is becoming digitized. And then you have this whole coronavirus transfer of germs and people are afraid to touch certain things. This this is what it is, man. This is what it's coming to. And it says the energy digital development so vice. And it said known globally for its welfare system, the Scandinavian country of 10 million has a storied history of embracing new technologies from tax subsidies for home computers in the 90s to mobile technology and fractures. And it says the country is nearing complete digitization of both public and private sectors and has now sights set on artificial intelligence, all with the goal of making life more convenient, efficient, and equitable for its citizens. And we know that's a goddamn lie. It's about control and possessions of the people, especially the children of Israel. This is um, Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down in Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because there are many, right? That's talking about going down to Babylon or, or the structure and power structure of Esau Edom because our people are deluded and confused with the power structure that Esau has. So they're going to go along with anything they have to offer, including taking the mark of the beast, which is the Alphite Nietzsche. And it said, and horsemen, because they are very strong, but they look not to the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord, Yahweh. Right, they don't look to the Holy One of Israel. Why? Because they don't have faith in nothing that, it, that you can't see, but only the things that are tangible, which is, i.e., the power structure of Esau Edom. The fact that Esau can give him a comfortable life, you see? But that's going to be a destruction. Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, born to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. And that's the great wrath, man, because everybody's gonna be forced to take this 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 off ID chip, whether you like it or not, you see? So with that I want to give all praise to Yahweh. But I assume I'll shout by Sum Khakadash, the one that said LG Mess we will say teach you out there. His word truth is serious. Um Tonight, we are so much.